Hello everyone. Uh, this is DV2AWN. Uh, today I'm going to try to set up my uh, NFED dipole. I I ordered this from D1EIB because of the limited uh, the limitation that we have here in uh, in the subdivision that we lived in in the Gupan. This is uh, for my setup here. Uh, since we cannot put up uh, an antenna higher than certain limit so um, discounting the other uh, the other antennas I figured that this might uh, work for my need uh, it's a uh, sort of a stealth antenna I intend to put it here on this on this uh, I don't know if you can see it on this pole that I have for my UHF antenna and just hung it uh, towards those trees and this is actually the radio that I'm gonna use it for my FT891 since um, today's is still ECQ enhanced community quarantine because of COVID-19 and I didn't have the chance to transfer my my main rig the FTDX5000 uh, which I left in my other station in Rosario La Union so this is where it came uh how it comes i think it's ready for uh it's really ready for um uh for easy transportation it's designed to be carried about for dxing and uh, what have you in remote location but for my purpose it's going to be a uh, permanent antenna here i hope it works and this video will show if it does and so this is what uh, uh, what it comes with the, the antenna is actually this one it's a radio wave uh, PF uh, mark 1 or Papa Fox mark 1 Pathfinder mark 1 and fed antenna and it's good up to 500 watts SSB or uh, or 100 watts CW but on a limited duty cycle meaning to say you cannot transmit uh, for a long time with 100 watts on CW with this antenna anyway I don't really plan to work that much on CW maybe once in a while uh, the length is 60 feet and the weight is 1.2 pounds let me show you what's inside this is what's inside you notice I'm wearing globes because I'm taking precaution because you know it's uh, still ECQ, it's still in the middle of the COVID scare and you can never be, you can never play it safe too much so just to be sure so there you go, that's the, the dipole okay, that's the dipole and that's the balloon that came with the dipole this one and I'll try to show you how I installed it later this is actually another balloon that I ordered because I, inst I intend to install a separate uh, uh, dipole uh, for a certain frequency on 40 meters dedicated for that uh, for the calling frequency of the Philippine Amateur Radio Association which is in 7.095 megahertz I intend to make a dedicated antenna for it and this one is however this one is good from uh, where's this that? antenna is good from 1.8 to 55 megahertz so from 1.8 megahertz to 55 megahertz so that about covers all the amateur uh, HF band which is uh, a good all-around antenna so let's so see. there is uh, the entered antenna now I installed it on this pole which is about oh, the, the tip of that is 20 feet so maybe 15 feet high only I intend to transfer it here to a higher but uh, my monkey man is not yet here and I just uh, the, the wire is about 60 feet and I just, I don't know if you can see it, I just some of the branches there, in fact here. This is the end of that and I just uh, put it up there and tied it into one branch. 
uh, but obviously uh, during typhoon or before the typhoon I need to improve this and put some bungee uh, board maybe so that it does play whenever high wind is around but as you can see you can barely see the antenna this is really good for stealth setup which is exactly what I need here because where I live there is a uh, regulation that you cannot put up a mast higher than your roof and as you can see I cannot put anything above my roof anymore well except this and maybe one of these days I'll transfer it to the higher pole uh, and let's see how it how it uh, here's another shot of that of the and fed antenna let's see how it so performs the anten so the antenna is now hooked up to this uh, to my antenna analyzer uh, this uh, Comet CA500 uh, Mark II analyzer and we will see how it performs across the band turn it on and right now it's set at 6 point in 7 megahertz now it has quite a high SWR right off the box uh, 7 there that's my target frequency 7095 but it's showing about 3 more than 3 SWR and how about let's see on 10 meters on 10 meters it's uh, it's still about well it lessened a bit it's about 2.5 there we go let's see on oh, 14 meters uh, on 14 megahertz i mean it uh i think the, the antenna is better on higher frequency and 14 megahertz it's about uh swr is about uh, one is to two even goes lower then let's see on maybe on uh, there we go on 21 megahertz uh, lower see on 21 megahertz it's uh, there and 21 that eight something it's uh, it's showing us an SWR of about 1.5 so off the box this antenna needs a um, needs a tuner well that's exactly what is said uh, on the manual that it, it may need a tuner and from the looks of it it really does need a tuner so let's hook it up and see how it works alright all right, here we go it's now tuned to uh, 7 decimal 095 my target frequency in fact in the future I intend to do a dedicated dipole just for this uh, frequency because this is the calling frequency of the Philippine Amateur Radio Association which I belong to and let's do a short is anybody on the frequency this is Delta Victor 2 Alpha Whiskey November uh, anyone on the frequency is anyone on the frequency CQ this is Delta Victor 2 Alpha Whiskey November uh, D1 FLA DB2 AWN. How copy ito, Mang Phil? Uh, how copy? Go ahead. Copy ang ita. Saan ang location mo? Location. Yeah, Mang Phil. Magandang hapon. Uh, location is the Gupan City. How copy? Diyan sa Cagayan. Go ahead. Saan? Saan? The Gupan City. The Gupan. The Gupan. QSL. Ah, the Gupan City. Uh, sa gilid ka ng antena ko. 